In this video, I'm going to be giving you the best settings for streaming at 720p, 60 FPS on Streamlabs. If you don't already have Streamlabs installed, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and follow along. First thing you want to do is open up your settings and navigate to the output section. From here, we're going to make sure our output mode is set to advanced and not simple so that you will have access to more options. From here, you just want to change the encoder to ideally your hardware encoder, unless you have a really good CPU and the games you're playing or whatever you're trying to stream doesn't use too much of your CPU, you could use X264, but 99% of the time, your NVENC new encoder, in this case, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, is going to be the best option and not sacrifice any performance. Um, other than that, your rate control you want on CBR, and then for the bit rate for 720p 60fps, we're going to want to use a 4500 bit rate. You can leave your keyframe interval on zero, so it will just automatically set it, uh, depending on where you're streaming. For your preset, you can usually leave this on quality, but if you do have performance issues, you could try performance. Anything lower than that, you're going to start running into more uh, just terrible quality video, so I wouldn't really recommend that. Try to keep it on quality if you can, and everything else you can just leave on default. Other than that, you just want to make sure you go to your video tab here on the left and make sure your base canvas resolution, which is your monitor size, is set properly. But you mostly want to make sure that your output scaled resolution, which is what you're going to actually be streaming at, is set to 720p resolution, which as you can see, if you just select here, you can easily select 1280 by 720, which is the proper resolution right there. And then for downscale, downscale filtering, excuse me, um, you can use really any one of these if you want. Lanxos is technically the best quality, but I don't notice a huge difference. Um, and then you want to make sure you turn your FPS up to 60. If you do see it says common FPS values, um, you don't see the 60. You just have to scroll down just slightly and you will see the 60 here. And then you can click done and you are ready to stream at 720p 60 FPS in great quality. 